Hi, thanks for joining me in my market report. My name is Mike, and if you're new to my videos, is we do this on a daily basis, create videos on what's affecting mortgage rates on any given day. So we kind of look at economic data, we look at headline news, we kind of get into the sentiment of the markets and see what is impacting uh, the mortgage rates on any given day. Uh, if you may not know, uh, mortgage rates are actually uh, influenced by mortgage-backed securities. They're packaged and sold on Wall Street just like stocks are sold, and they can move uh, throughout the day. And uh, even though you may see these rates on a billboard, doesn't mean that's the rate you're going to get because, well, uh, they do change on a daily basis. And we're here to kind of give you that background information so that way if you're in the market to refinance or purchase and are looking at rates, at least you get some educated uh, information as to make a better informed decision for yourself as to whether to lock in or if you want to kind of float your rate if you're in the transaction. And hopefully these uh, videos will kind of help you out in that regards. A little bit about myself is I am a loan officer. I do work at, with the National Lender, so we can help. We work with people all in all 50 states. We uh, can certainly answer questions with regards to like mortgage rates or mortgage programs or different uh, products out there. Uh, my company does offer a lot of different loan programs. Even one that they just came out recently is a physician loan program that's their own. Uh, we do offer, among others as well, uh, and some great jumbo loan programs. So if you got questions about those or we can help you out with those, please feel free to reach out. We're here to help you guys. Uh, without further ado, we'll just jump right in and start talking about the economic report today. Uh, the big one will actually be tomorrow. We'll get the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, releasing their unemployment rates and their non-farm payrolls. So that's really what investors will be looking at. And uh, today, again, uh, this is what's pretty much what investors are looking at. They're looking at the data for jobs. So today, we every Thursday, we get job initial jobless claims. So last week's report initially came in at 353,000. It was revised slightly higher to 354. Forecast is supposed to dip down to 345,000 and dipped a little bit further down to 340,000. So only 340,000 people applied for unemployment for first-time benefits. And we're also seeing people here, if you're looking at this uh, non-highlighted uh, area, uh, that they were um, going lower. Uh, however, the previous week it was 2.862, but revised higher to 2.9. But So it shows a pretty big drop down to 2.748 uh, this week. So fewer people are staying on unemployment, which is good news. And then also the challenger layoffs. These are announced layoffs. And that dropped pretty dramatically by about 3, 000, 3 million people, 3, 000, or 3 million jobs. So this is all good news here, uh, that, you know, that people are staying less on unemployment and also less layoffs plans. So to continue with our um, economic reports, we got the final revisions for the labor costs. This could be a uh, inflationary data here, so it's something we definitely want to keep on looking at. These are on an annual basis. So the previous report, uh, initial report came in at 1%. Forecast will show a dip down to 0.9%. However, that got uh, ro that rose to 1.3%. So this is something that the Fed will watch uh, because obviously uh, higher costs associates with inflation and a lot of employers are trying to do what they can to get employees back to work and increase a lot of it is increasing their costs to do so. Uh, so this could create a bit of an inflationary drag on the um, economy. And then we also got productivity. Uh, its initial uh, last initial one came in at 2.3 percent. Forecast has come for 2.4, and that actually dropped. So instead of going upwards, it went downwards. Uh, productivity, and that's the final revision here uh, at 2.1 percent. Last but not least, we got factory orders month over month uh, for the month of July. So we had June. It rose uh, month over month at 1.5%. Uh, forecast gone for 0.3% in July, and it came in a little bit better at 0.4%. So if you look at the headline news, uh, stocks are mixed. Um, NASDAQ is really the only one that's in negative territory, but there's not a lot of movement primarily because they are kind of looking more ahead. They're kind of looking, they're just, uh, investors today are kind of looking if they could find any, uh, any good deals out there, really. I mean, that's really kind of what it comes down to. Uh, the stocks have been going up so much that they're kind of scam, skimming along to see if there's anything they feel has good mar good value to them. And in the meantime, uh, they are waiting for tomorrow's uh, release of the, by the Bureau, Bureau of Labor Statistic, Statistics, uh, or BLS, uh, jobs numbers. Because this is what will kind of dictate to the Fed as to whether they should start tapering sooner or later. 
and if it comes in a, a bad number, well, they'll probably look at uh, the Fed. The Fed will probably at their next meeting towards the end of the month that they will probably look at towards uh, tapering later. Maybe not. Maybe not this year, but maybe beginning of next year. So uh, we do know tapering is going to happen at some point, but uh, it could happen later than uh, sooner is what I think investors are kind of looking towards. Let's take a look see how this is affecting mortgage-backed securities today. We're up about two basis points. We've had some swings here, as you can see, uh, creating that uncertainty for tomorrow's line. We did touch off both the 50 and 25-day moving average. So we're basically at, uh, you know, no no price change. So mortgage rates are about the same where we left off yesterday. Um, that's kind of where we're at with that. And the yields kind of dropped a little bit further down, ho hopefully uh, closing below this uh level here the technical level just under 1.3 right now so again tomorrow will be the big day that will be the catalyst for the week and we'll see how that uh, plays out and so stay tuned uh, again if you guys got questions or need some assistance in any capacity please reach out we're here to assist and uh, thank you so much for your watching if you like these videos please smash that like button it helps us out and helps the channel out uh, try to get more people to watch and uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Thanks again. Bye-bye.